Lots of big world news out there right now. Major gas line explosion in Texas. We have a world leader has been assassinated. Uh, not a sitting world leader, but a world-renowned world leader. Um, water lines have been cut to farmers uh, in Texas. They will be able to finish out this growing season, but they're being told no water for their next growing season in certain areas of Texas. Um, auto loans and other credit markets are, we're hearing more and more out there, as bad as 2008. Worst since 2008. We're hearing this across mortgage loans. We're hearing this across uh, auto uh, loans. Uh, we got a lot of news on that. Heat dome baking the Midwest as well. Flash drought has been confirmed in those areas. We're going to jump into those things. Let's get into it, folks. Uh, first off, gas line explosion in Texas. It is a 24-inch pipe, a major uh, artery in the uh, natural gas pipelines uh, across Texas. No word yet on the impacts. They were able to shut off the gas uh, to the line and allow the, the, the line to burn out. And so you see lots of pictures out there of the big flaming thing. It was contained, but they had to wait for the uh, the natural gas to burn out of the line so they can repair the line and then get it back in service. Uh, service should be restored relatively quickly because they know where the break is and they can get in there and, and, and fix the thing. But it is another major gas line that is down, at least for a temporary period of time. All right, moving on. Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is dead after an assassination attempt in Nara City. Um, a lone gunman with a shotgun shot him. And uh, if you are aware of uh, Abe's history, he was uh, he was a very long-running uh, Prime Minister of uh, of Japan, and. A lot of people use the term Abenomics um, after him. He was the the main proponent of basically national and uh, uh, monetizing the debt of the nation, and so basically bringing their equivalent of the uh, Federal Reserve or the Bank of Japan in to come and buy up government securities, and then to um, basically buy up market securities as well. So at this point. The Bank of Japan, based on this man's vision, um, the Bank of Japan actually owns over 50% of the stocks in the uh, Japanese stock market. It's, it's that crazy. It's, it's insane. And they have really paved the path that the United States and the uh, Central Bank of Europe has also gone down. Um, we have a lot of countries that have followed this. Um, I don't know if that is related to this assassination attempt or what that's about. We don't have any word just yet on motives, um, but uh, suffice it to say, if there is a world leader that is for you know, globalization and everything like that, this guy was like at the top of the list. Um, uh, just a crazy, crazy thing. And he is, he's been, he's a legend, whether you like him or hate him, um, he he was definitely someone who has shaped the world, and so um, that may have serious ramifications. If it turns out that he that this is because of some other nation um, that has backed this this attempt, um, that will be very very big. No indication that that's the case at this point yet, um, or if some movement or some group is behind this, um, you can expect the Japanese people as one people and their allies around the world to get very upset about this. Um, he was a very, very uh, influential person. All right. Um, Moving on to water lines being cut in uh, to farmers in Lower Colorado River Authority. Um, so basically, this area has not been getting the water that it needs, and so they are moving in to cut off um, uncut offable farmers in their area. Now they are guaranteeing the uh, first uh, first growing season that, that you know they're going to be guaranteed that water that they were guaranteed through the end of the first growing season. But they're being said that they're going to do a full cutoff of of all the farmers for the second growing season. They're not going to give any water to farmers at all in the Lower Colorado River Authority. That's big news. And what 
do they mostly grow out there? Rice. They grow rice. It is a massive growing uh, rice growing area. It is not um, on par with uh, Arkansas because Arkansas is much larger, but um, this is not a small drop in the bucket. There's going to be a lot less rice on the shelves shortly because of this. All right, let's move on to the real doozy here, if you will. Um, we have uh, auto loans are up to 3.32 uh, million Americans have defaulted on our past 30 days delinquent, sorry, uh, on their auto loans. Um, that is moving them into the place where their cars could be repossessed. Um, 3.32 million Americans could have the banks call their loans on their cars, come and pick them up and drop those 3.3 million cars off at the lots to be sold. That, that That's a big number, folks. And the amount of money that the, the banks will lose doing that is, is a big number, too. Um, credit applications, uh, rejections are almost at 10-year highs. They are spiking up and fast. Banks are closing off. Um, they're not issuing new credit. They're not issuing new credit for new cars. They're not issuing new credit uh, for credit cards and such like that. They are rejecting people right and left. It's not just because credit scores are down, but banks are locking down their money. And we're going to get into that in just a second here, but mortgage applications cratering most since 2008. We don't like hearing most since 2008, especially when we're talking about credit markets, right? Um, the mortgage applications and refinance applications are down dramatically, so much so that the mortgage rate has actually dropped, dropped almost half a percent. The federal funds rate hasn't dropped at all, and yet the mortgage app, uh, interest rate has dropped half a percent. That is massive. That is a massive move. And the fact that it's not being moved by the Federal Reserve is scary because that's the type of move that should only be able to be done by the Federal Reserve, at least uh, if you live in funny money land. Um, the free market is signaling hard that the credit market is locking up. Google searches for voluntary repossession of car are actually at 2008's peak. People typing into Google, voluntary repossession of car, 2008 peak. Rental delinquencies are, are off the charts. I mean, they're well past 2008 levels because the whole, you know, rent paying holiday, the... I've talked to a number of people who have rentals that have been shafted because of the whole um, people not paying. And uh, the people that I've talked to were able to get the people evicted, um, but uh, using rules and things like that, people thought they were covered and they weren't. And but just they both those families lost a lot of money um, because of these rentals not being paid. So. Credit market is locking up. The market, uh, the, the 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 economy is not firing on all cylinders. We're seeing that across the board with with of course the supply chain uh, issues. We're seeing that with the price increases of everything, inflation uh, on prices. But then we're also seeing that with uh, the labor market. A lot of people being laid off right now. Jobs. Um, Jobs numbers are going to drop just a couple hours after this video drops, uh, so we will see what those numbers are. But word on the street is it's going to be surprisingly bad. Surprisingly bad in the United States. Um, in addition to that, we have this heat dome that is baking the southeast and midwest. Uh, I talked about this uh, about a week ago. I uh, was sharing about the uh, flash drought that is going to hit that area, particularly the Mississippi River Valley as well as the Ohio River Valleys, and that uh, has now been confirmed. Um, flash drought means basically an area that is not in drought rapidly over several weeks, moving into drought uh, phase, uh, drought uh, drought Monitor is now confirming that uh, areas 
in Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Mississippi, Louisiana, and of course, new areas in Texas are now jumping straight into moderate drought. These are areas that have not been affected by, the, I mean, we've had this Western drought thing going on for years now, very severe, and I don't want to minimize that in any way, but I'm just saying we've been, we've been keeping that drought to the west side of the Mississippi River and not in the Mississippi Valley, but now we're suddenly getting hit hard across the, the Corn Belt and across uh, the Rice Belt. This is going to have some dramatic impacts. Um, we are heavily reliant upon these, uh, these high-producing areas that generally get enough rain are suddenly not getting the rain they need. And in addition to that, with this heat dome baking all of the moisture out of the soil, it is really reducing the soil moisture content significantly, which is very troubling to the farmers out there. And it is damaging, uh, potentially going to really seriously damage the crop out there if the farmers can't get out there and irrigate all these uh, uh, this problem away so the farmers that don't have irrigation in place or don't have um, don't have the water resources to do that um, they're going to seriously see some problems out there um, folks in Texas that are getting their water shut off to the farms um, they're just going to have to pass on the second growing season um, we're not going to this is Big news, folks. Um, across the agricultural world, the flash drought out there in the affected areas is massive news. Farmers are scrambling to try to, to save the crops that are out there as is, and they're going to be heavily, heavily reliant upon water. And when there's a drought, that water is a lot less abundant. So are they going to be able to source that much water or are the rivers going to start drying up because so much water is being pulled out of them into the systems to uh, irrigate fields and such? That is a question we're going to see in the very near future. Um, up to this point, we have not had that problem before. Like the Mississippi River and its tributaries have a lot of water in them and the water table has a lot of water in there um, so we would assume that we can pull enough water um, from those places to to get through this season but if this continues um, what will next season look like that is a big question out there too and a lot of farmers are getting uh, this is a shot across the bow a lot of farmers who have been living in areas where this is not a problem are suddenly having to face this very serious uh, crisis is going to maybe make them a little more skittish about uh, what they do next year with planting and such like that. So um, keep that in mind too. This could have long-term effects just from the psychology of the decisions that the farmers make. I mean, the farmers can really decide to ramp up production, but that's them sticking their necks out. Are they going to stick their necks out when they don't know where the fertilizer is going to come from? And now where they're starting to wonder where they didn't before so much about where the water is going to come from now they're going to have to worry more about the moisture content of the soil and where they're going to get irrigation water from they're going to try to lock in a lot of water contracts um, and they may not be able to buy those water contracts so a lot of big news out there like i said um, just more pieces to the puzzle we got a lot going on in the world out there um, I don't know what will happen the rest of today, but it is a Friday, so expect news dumps and also just uh, a lot of things are kind of moving today. Um, if we get any developments out of the Shinzo Abe um, assassination, if we get uh, um, a play out of um, uh, the U.S. jobs reports, uh, stock markets could go cratering really fast or they could go skyrocketing really fast. Um, watch yourselves out there. Hopefully you're positioned in a safe way um, for either of those two options. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully most of your money is invested in solid, tangible objects that can't lose their value just because somebody prints a weird number on their screen. All right, folks, um, take care out there. If you like this video, you might want to check out this video right here. Otherwise, I will see you later. Steve Poplar, out.